Yo, so look, man, I know a lot of people have been waiting on this news. A lot of people have been anticipating this game. And we're right at that season where a lot of the big development developers are going to drop these bombs about their game. Gotham Knights has been canceled. I repeat, Gotham Knights has been canceled. Not entirely, but they have decided to cancel the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One game. So the new Gotham Knights will only be available on Windows PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series S or X. That's the news I have for you today. Why is this important? Well, I mean, it's important if you're a fan of the series. It's an important fact if you have a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One and you thought you were about to play this game because now you find out you have to buy either the $300 Xbox or the $700 PlayStation 5 if you can find one. You have to buy one of those to play this game. The reason they say it's canceled is because they want to immerse people into the best gameplay experience that they can possibly give them. Just to quote what exactly what it said, they, they, WBIE said to provide players with the best possible gameplay experience. The game will release on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X and PC. Will not be available for PlayStation 4 or Xbox One consoles. Wow. This is uh, WB Games and they announced this game back in August of 2020. It's a, a cross-generation game, so you're supposed to be able to, if you have a PS4, you're supposed to be able to play with or against you know, people on PS5. You're supposed to be, but I, that's obviously gone out the window now. Now it's slated for an August 25th release, and that's after it was already delayed again last year. So this game is taking forever. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Almost all games get delayed. All major games get delayed anyway. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. The reason that this game has been delayed multiple times is because they really are trying to use the full power of the consoles. They don't want to shortchange the last gen players and make them think like, okay, this is the same game we already played because they've already maxed out on the capabilities of those consoles. So why continue to basically duplicate the same game and just add new scenery. You know, I, I, I totally get it on that. What they say they're going for is a new multiplayer experience. Now, just to read a little bit about this game to you, this is supposed to be a vast open world experience. A vast open world experience in Gotham. But here's the catch. Batman's not in the game. They're gonna to try to sell this game without Batman and that concerns me. Now, I assume that Batman is gonna make some uh, cameos in the game. The story might be used somewhere in there. You might even actually see the character revealed in the game, but he's not a part of the actual story or the actual storyline. And I think that's the direction they're headed. It says the game's antagonist is gonna be the Court of Owls, and uh, that's a secret society of Gotham's wealthiest families, basically. And that they're gonna run the, the the dark side of the game. In the game, Bruce. Uh, in the game, Bruce Wayne has supposedly perished. He's died in a massive explosion. Uh, but in a message to his surviving comrades, Robin, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Batgirl, he tells them how to carry on in his absence. So classic storyline. We're gonna see how they kind of finagle this without Batman being the focal point. It said that Rocksteady Studios has been working on a new game called Suicide Squad, and we're gonna see what that's all about. Suicide, Suicide Squad was a major hit. Hopefully they can get uh, John Cena to do his own voiceover. That would be crazy if you get John Cena to do his own voiceover. That'll, that'll be very, pretty immersive. That'll be pretty immersive of a game if you have a guy like John Cena in a video game. I, I don't know if he's ever done a video game or been in a video game, but to have his voice with his character would be dope. Gotham Knights, not canceled, but canceled on PS4 and Xbox One. So. You know, I think that this is going to be a trickle down thing where a lot of companies start slashing off that last gen. You know, it's, it's almost no point for them to spend money on that if they can't upgrade the game and make something new happen, which is something that the sports companies, the sports gaming companies need to look into. Y'all make it like there's no, there's no more upgradability on last gen. The graphics are maxed out. The gameplay is maxed out. You can make some tweaks here and there and some hot patches and, and you know, fix a few things take some bugs out but you really can't add to the experience on last gen anymore and i think a lot of companies are going to follow suit with what wb is doing here it sucks but you know at the same time it's necessary to just move on we just need to move on from those consoles and maybe these gaming companies can give us a better product overall if they're just honed in on one set of consoles and one set of capabilities and one set of console strength um we'll see we'll see 
Hopefully the game doesn't get delayed again. October, let's see, June, July, August, September. Four months, four months. So in the next month, it's time for their real marketing rollout. It's time to see some gameplay um, and hear from the developers. Appreciate y'all checking this out, man. I figured there's gotta be some people out here to play this game. This is a very popular game and I thought that this was some pretty, pretty striking news because if you think about the big picture of gaming, this is the direction it's going. You know, they're gonna stop making games for the PS4 and the Xbox One and force y'all to, even though you can't get your hands on the PS5 in store, they're gonna force you to go get one. So this is uh, the war that we're in with these major companies where they're not giving us enough stock or product, but they're demanding that we buy it. Holla back y'all, much respect to y'all. So like and subscribe to the video. Leave a comment if you play this game. Leave a comment if you're ready for this game, if you're anticipating it. Let me know what you think about this uh, down below.